Waynesburg and Grove City entering week five, the two worst teams in the President's Athletic Conference, both looking for that elusive first win of 2016. Waynesburg got a quick start, Tyler Perrone to Tavon Johnson. The big play set up the Jackets inside the 15-yard line. They'd ultimately fail on a fourth and goal attempt on that opening drive. On Waynesburg's second drive, Perrone finds Kevin Barnes Jr. for a touchdown score to put the Jackets ahead 7-0 as they strike first on the road. As per usual in our weekly highlight, let's look at a big bright spot this week. Freshman corner Brennan Sefik, the Cardinal World North Catholic grad, saw much more time at CB this past week. Two big breakups that were key plays in the game for him and the defense. Waynesburg's defense piled up eight sacks on the day as well, led by Brad Grinnan's three. Grinnan was named the President's Athletic Conference Defensive Player of the Week for his efforts against Grove City. Defense also had two turnovers as it forced a fumble here to halt the Wolverines inside the five-yard line. Justin Wilco forces it. Christian Breisinger recovers. Jackets by seven at the half. First drive of the third quarter for Grove City. The game's tied now as a result of a Wesley School's 13-yard touchdown run to make it 7-7 in the third quarter. Head coach Rick Sheppis made a quarterback change at halftime, and here Aaron Jenkins can't handle the low snap. Grove City takes over and would get a 31-yard field goal right here to take the lead at 10-7 still in the third quarter. Fast forward to the early stages of the fourth. It's Jenkins finding Kevin Barnes Jr. for a 43-yard completion. It's one of Barnes's four catches on the day for the Catanning native who goes up and makes a solid catch on the deep ball from Jenkins. It was one of two completions for the backup quarterback, Aaron Jenkins, on the day. That sets up this Jenkins one-yard touchdown run to give the Jackets the lead back at 14-10. To help seal it, Zach Snydak, the senior cornerback from Brentwood, Pennsylvania, has an INT here as the pass picked off over the middle by Snydak, and he'd take it back inside the 10-yard line. Waynesburg would not score on that drive, but Jenkins nonetheless icing the game himself later on with 61 yards on the day on the ground, one of 27 yards, one of 24 yards, two big runs right here near the end of the game. And according to Coach Shepis, we will see both Jenkins and Tyler Perrone moving forward for the Jacket offense because of Jenkins' skill set. You see the big runs here, the ability to get out of the pocket and move, be a mobile quarterback for Jenkins, a big reason why he'll play. Last ditch Hail Mary effort attempt for the Wolverines. It goes for naught. Waynesburg 14-10, and it's the Jackets' first win of 2016.